Gallery oh. five is our concluding gallery called Matriarchy in Motion. This is where we're drawing wisdom from matriarchal cultures and from quite a several incredible feminist artists. We are joined by dissident goddesses, dragon queen paintings um, that we've loaned from the historical collections in Seoul. But we're also joined by the aquatic choir that Femke Herregaven has created in collaboration with Heyo from Jeju, uh, the sea divers that are known for their matriarchal lineage, their strength, their dissidence, and their power to resistance. These are the sounds, the sumbori, um, that they make um, when they are between life and death, between as they come out from the sea. This is the sound that is pushed through, actually, um, through their larynxes. So here you actually oh. see several larynxes that Femke has created. And the archive of Sumbori, uh, Femke has actually envisioned as a long-term project. Uh, this is an initiative she's undertaken. Um, eventually, she would like to make this gift also oh. to the Jeju community. Um, on this floor, you, we will also see other works by um, first-generation feminist artists like Vivian Lin from New Zealand. We will um, see the latest commission of Lynn hirschman Lazen, in which she has collaborated with Harvard's biologically um, inspired engineering department, um, where she is processing contaminated um, water as to clean it through either enzymes, bacteria, or through electricity in two of her living sculptures through the image of her continuous Water Woman series that she started in the 70s. You will also get to see the work, um, her earlier work from 89, Electric Bride by Lillian Lin, as well as the latest commission that she's made um, that references to the cosmic dance um, of gravity in her work um, as we conclude this floor. In Gallery 5, we also have the works of Vivian Lin, an artist from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Works such as Carrieted, made in 1986, is a hair-clad freestanding column drawn from the classical Carrieteds that refer to sites dedicated to female deities, like the ceremonial pole of the Canaanite mother goddess Asherah, the Babylonian goddess Ishtar, but also referencing to the gendered canons of modernist architecture and the matriarchal lineage of the sacred tree of life, as well as Dilokai figures from Palau. Another work by Vivian Lin in the gallery is Spin Versor Versari. Made between 1995 and 97, it is a series of nine blown up MRI scans of the artist's brain that, that reflects on spaces of interiority and exposes the matter of fact inconsistency between the Cartesian ego and the perception of self-identity. Further, we have the work of filmmaker, essay filmmaker, experimenting with various genres of what the moving image does in relation to worldly figuration and deterritorialization. Angela Melitopoulos has been working with this medium for several years, chronicling histories of migration, animism, resistance movements, and anti-psychiatry. In the work Matrilinear B, which is a four-part video film, we see one chapter of this project that is ongoing, mapping the Earth's surface, questioning modes of viewing and perceiving landscapes through matrilinear currents. She has been shooting in Australia with various protagonists, storytellers from the desert landscape of Australia and its Aboriginal cultures. This work is shot mainly around Alice Springs Northern Territory and is called Surfacing Earth 2021. So this is actually how you will see a lot of motion once the bacteria is uploaded and for which we actually worked with a Korean scientist um, who is coming up and working with us to upload the bacteria as well as install the 
system um, for the electricity-based system that they have developed called Aquapulse. So I can show you the Dragon Queens with which we're actually ending our main exhibition in the Biennale Hall. These are loans from the historical collections that we have um, collaborated with and we would be ending here. <laughs>